Greetings, Group Excellence team. My name is Matt Houston, and I want to give you all some examples of programs or, or activities you could do outside of our typical tutoring program within Group Excellence. As you know, I am Executive Director of External Affairs here at Group Excellence, but I'm also a part of the Urban League of Greater Dallas Young Professionals, where I serve as president and various other organizations across the community. I, su I submitted a, a plan earlier, or, or a vlog earlier, on the importance of volunteering. Um, and if you want to hear that in depth, please go to my website at www.mrmatthouston.com. But today, I want to specifically go into certain things that we've done um, in group excellence throughout the years uh, to show how we can connect um, our kids um, not only with academics, but also with the personal touch and to spark interest on what you all can do um, and have your creative juices flowing um, in this next school year um, to reach out to our communities. We have various programs that we've worked um, with here um, at Group Excellence throughout the years, I guess since 2004. Um, we've done in-school tutoring programs. We've done after-school tutoring programs. We've also done winter semester and spring fling um, services where it's a very informal setting. Uh, we're typically in jeans um, and a shirt, particularly during our winter and spring um, and uh, programs, and we definitely uh, just want to help out schools reach out to the students. Um, we've also done summer learning programs. Where we've partnered with, with several foundations and organizations to provide a lighthearted, um, fun um, alternative to a summer camp um, in, a, in an academic setting. Instead of having books, we do a lot of project learning based, based events or, or, or things um, such as projects, um, music, things of that nature to help bridge the connection between the importance of education and the importance of learning um, academics and having fun. A couple of other things that we've done as a company, as an organization, um, is our volunteer work as a group, um, in various cities, and in Austin, for example, several years ago, we we did a Habitat for Humanity house. And we've also done some volunteer projects in Fort Worth, as well as here in Dallas. I know in Dallas, uh, we participate in EFNT's Freedom Day, which happens every 9-11. Um, this year, we're actually going to go down to Zoomwalk Middle School and help paint the school as our service project. So you can have projects like these to help build the camaraderie amongst your team in your various cities. Um, and it's also fun and you're giving back to the community. Uh, we've also done other projects with our schools outside of our tutoring programs. Um, great examples um, are one, the volleyball uh, teams at certain schools. Some of our tutors actually became assistant coaches there. Um, at, at, at the schools that they serve to help the volleyball team because that's their passion. I know music is another one. I'm a musician. I play trumpet. I'm really good on that horn, and I like to share that with other people, um, particularly people who want to become better in trumpet. So I volunteer in band programs there as well. That's something that you're not getting paid to do, but at the same time it benefits the children. Um, it benefits our students. It benefits the school as a whole because they have added support. But most importantly, it helps you develop who you are and, and appreciate um, the, the gifts that you, that you have received um, that you can give to others. Other things that we've done um, is we've done fun runs um, at Woodrow Wilson a couple years ago, every homecoming or so at Woodrow um, and J.L. Long in Dallas. They have a 5K and a 10K run where some of our people actually be a, uh, participate um, in that event. We've also done student staff basketball games. Um, we've done student staff softball games and kickball games uh, where we make sure the students get, play, get in their place and know that we're still bigger and better than they are, but in, in a fun environment. Um, but more seriously, the whole goal of all of these things is to make sure that we're not just there as tutors. We're not just there to teach them two times two is four and the square root of nine is three. We're there to teach them that you can apply all of these things 
um, that you learn in the classroom have a holistic approach of life I and mean, give back to your community. We've also, part we've also partnered with other organizations. Um, we partner with DISD, um, with the SBDM, which is site-based um, community decision uh, making um, organizations where it allows organiz organizations from the community, teachers, students, and administrators learn, um, learn from each other and create plans um, to implement at their schools. And we've also been a part of Leadership DISD, and we have several members who are part of that class now, and we've had a, a member or two be a part of its inaugural class last year. So if you're all in a city um, that has those type of leadership programs for community leaders um, to help invest in the kids, please do so. Please participate in those things. Um, a couple of last things that I want to um, add is that there are other organizations, educational organizations, outside of just the school district that we are a part of. One is being Commit or, or Dallas Kids First. Those are two organizations here in Dallas that has a focus on, on enriching not just the students in DISD, but in Dallas in general um, by bringing in programs to bring people together um, and collaborate and communicate with each other um, to help the kids. And we also be we also are a part of of advisory boards, not just on the elementary, middle, and high school level, but also on the community college and university level as well. Um, I'm very involved in my alma mater, SMU, and with that, that allows us to have programs and organizations uh, to where group excellence staff can educate the SMU community and bring bring forth um, people from our schools to get more exposure to college. Um, so I just want to give you those examples. If y'all have any questions from, uh, of me, please email me at matt.houston at groupexcellence.org. Again, that email address is matt.houston at groupexcellence.org. Um, I love what you all are doing. I appreciate you all perpetuating the vision that we've had since 2004. Um, and inspiring the pursuit of excellence. And I hope you all have a great day, and let's impact these communities.